Artificial sweeteners are very controversial. Can you tell me what effect aspartame has on the brain? Yeah, yeah. Well, most of what I know about aspartame I got from this book, Excitotoxins, uh, which we've uh, pointed out before. Dr. Blaylock uh, talks about uh, the dangers of that. How monosodium glutamate, aspartame, and similar substances can cause harm to the brain and nervous system and their relationship to neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's disease, and others. These are toxic neuro neurotoxins, they call them, he calls it excitotoxins. And NutraSweet is a very common artificial sweetener mm -hmm. uh, that uh, is made artificially in a lab okay. by combining a, uh, aspartic acid, which is an, the excitotoxin, and phenylalanine. And when it breaks down, uh, and, and, it, and it's, it's uh, they call it a dipeptide because it has two amino acids in it. But it breaks down at 86 degrees. They, those two uh, amino acids break apart at 85 or 86 degrees. Okay. And our body temperature is 98.6. So when we swallow cold, NutraSweet, Diet Coke, or whatever, uh, it's going to break down as it warms up. And that, in the breakdown process, now mm -hmm. these amino acids are free amino acids, but they, it also generates one molecule of methanol, which is wood alcohol. And everybody knows wood alcohol is right. poison. Uh, alcoholics who accidentally drink methanol instead of ethanol can go blind and destroy their kidneys and mm -hmm. probably the rest of the tissues in the body are, are uh, harmed as well. So one molecule of methanol is emitted from every molecule of NutraSweet as the body warms the, warms the substance up. So is it stored in the liver? Well, it goes everywhere the bloodstream goes, so the methanol... Okay, so then it's going to go yeah, to the brain. Yeah, but the methanol breaks down into formaldehyde. So ah. the, the process of methanol makes formic acid and methanol and even uh, a, car a known carcinogen. I can't remember the name of the carcinogen. Dr. Blaylock describes it in his mm -hmm. uh, book. Um, and uh, so those are toxic substances. Uh, just to have uh, a sweetener that doesn't have any calories. Um, th th and so people drink Diet Coke thinking they're not going to get fat because there's no sugar in there. Right. Uh, but it doesn't work anyway because it actually stimulates insulin, which drives the normal blood sugar down, which makes us feel famished and hungry and, and anxious to eat. So it actually can stimulate appetite for calories, calorie consumption. There's a lot of very obese people out there that mm -hmm. are still drinking the Diet Coke thinking it's going to help them lose weight, and, and it doesn't necessarily work. But in terms of brain function, yeah, well, the, the glutamic acid, or the aspartic acid, mm -hmm. and the formaldehyde are brain toxins. Okay. So it's destroying brain cells, or at least wounding okay. them. So at least when, when, the, when the, uh, the brain is wounded neurologically, it's affected So it stimulates mentally. the brain, but at the same time destroys cells? Yeah, it's an, uh, that's what the term excitotoxin means. It okay. makes you wired. And, uh -huh. and, of course, we know how MSG can make you really feel really high, so can aspartic acid. So those are two uh, excitatory amino acids in among the 22 or so in the, in the food, in the protein. But in the protein, it doesn't have the same effect because the amount of aspartic acid in a, in a protein meal isn't all that much. Okay. And as it's uh, being eaten, it's uh, the, um, the uh, inhibitory amino acids kind of mellow the whole mm -hmm. situation down. So in protein, we're eating inhibitory amino acids at the same time as the excitatory amino acids, and so we don't have the same effect as eating pure glutamic acid or aspartic acid. What about um, Splenda? That's supposed to be made uh, from, from uh, sugar. Yeah, that, that's a scandal. Um, Splenda, uh, the generic name is sucralose. It's right. the industry, the, the food industry, industry that, that named it. And they named it the sucralose. It's just a nice, smooth, yes. delicious-sounding mm -hmm. name. It's actually a trichlorinated sucrose. They took three chlorine atoms and substituted three hydroxyl groups on the sucrose molecule mm -hmm. to make it nutritionally negative. There's no calories now okay. when you add chlorine to carbon atoms. And you're, in fact, you've got a toxic substance, mm -hmm. chlorocarbon compounds are toxic substances. Many of them are known carcinogens. Chlorocarbon atoms include dioxin and 2,4-D and 
and, uh, and the pesticides. Many of the pesticides are chlorocarbon atoms. Uh, so we, we have this highly sweetened uh, trichlorinated sucrose. Mm -hmm. Of course, they call it sucrose. It sounds very unappetizing when you talk about yeah. it like that. Oh, you, you wouldn't want to eat it. I, I, I was, uh, I uh, went online to a Japanese pesticide uh, company mm -hmm. that sold it as a pesticide. It was sucralose. You could buy it sucralose, and it was a pesticide. Uh, so I emailed them, wondering, oh, what's your evidence for, the, mm -hmm. for it being a pesticide? And they never answered. And then I went back a few months ago, and it wasn't there anymore. Mm. I think I must have alerted them or something, mm -hmm. or, or somehow they took it off the market. And maybe the Splenda Corporation in the United States uh, said, hey, get that off here. That's, that's not good news for us when it's used as a pesticide. Well, I proved it myself. In my garden, I had a infestation of black ants, just thousands of black ants okay. in one corner of my garden. And I had been sent a half a pound of Splenda. I think the Splenda company has mailed everybody an unwanted batch of it to test on the baking. They, they promote it for baking. Okay, well, that's right, yes. Uh, I, and I, I knew a little bit about it, so I would it sat in my in my pantry for a long time. So I took some of the Splenda and sprinkled it in where the ant hills were. Yeah. And one day they were all dead. They killed the ants. Killed the ants in my garden. All so right. I so it it's a pesticide. And I've had other people say that. Not tell me that. One is too. a pesticide. Yeah. Well it's a chlorocarbon. Okay. Atom, you know. It has no nutritional value. In fact it's a toxic substance. Um, Dr. Mercola alerted me to that. He has, if you go onto his Mercola.com mm -hmm. site, he talks about the uh, dangerous uh, chlorocarbon called Splenda. And, mm -hmm. uh, so that's a good source to get the science behind it. But uh, uh, when you look at the molecular structure, you know that it's not good. So you'd be better off eating sugar, yep. drinking, but then sodas are sweetened with corn syrup. Yeah, the high fructose corn syrup is an unhealthy uh, thing too. Fructose is not. Uh, used by the body, mm -hmm. uh, especially in high doses. Maybe small amounts are useful, but we don't have the enzyme systems to utilize it nutritionally. So it actually, uh, apparently it can even contribute to diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, but high fructose corn syrup is just a cheaper sweetener. It's very sweet. They can make it from corn. They add hydro uh, sulfur, they add sulfuric acid mm -hmm. to the, uh, the corn starch. Uh, and then it eventually results in lots of fructose, which is very sweet. There's some fructose in, right. in fruit, you know, mm -hmm. so some, some is okay. But now um, uh, it's just, it can be manufactured cheaper than, than sucrose, which comes from cane sugar or beet sugar. So it's, it's an unhealthy uh, form of sweetener also, although it is not uh, synthetic. It's not really a synthetic right. chemical, because fructose is present in, in nature. Um, but these things are making sugar sound a lot more wholesome, just plain old yeah. sugar. It's a known devil instead unknown of an devil. unknown devil, and so I'd go with that. Um, but sucrose breaks down into glucose, too, so mm -hmm. do, and our brain needs glucose, our body needs glucose. But, but when you talk about uh, sweeteners, our, in order for our body to have a normal blood sugar, mm -hmm. the blood only needs two teaspoons of glucose. Two teaspoons of glucose and you've got a normal blood sugar. Okay. A, a Coke has 10 teaspoons. Most of the pops have 10 teaspoons of sucrose mm -hmm. in them. That's going to give you a hyperglycemia, an insulin response to drive the blood sugar down, might be overshoot, and now you're hypoglycemic and famished and you've got to eat something to overcome the temporary hypoglycemia. So it leads to all sorts of um, metabolic abnormalities, uh, maybe even exhaustion of the insulin uh, mm -hmm. secreting ability of the pancreas. Uh, so uh, we need to go with the non-nutritional uh, 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 benefits of, of the food that's been around for a while. If we have a new food you know, that hasn't been around for a long time, don't eat it. You can't pronounce the, <laughs> the label on the, yeah. on the food, don't eat it. You know, stay away from it. Good advice. <laughs>